Hello friends, I am Peter Muir, author of the inspiring memoir, Pride and Prejudice Prevail, True Journey to Health, Happiness, Love and Success. The purpose of my memoirs is to help others to achieve their hopes and dreams despite great difficulties and obstacles as I did. Are you satisfied with the health of your life? Are you happy with your relationships to family, friends and associates? If your answer is yes, you are very satisfied and happy then I congratulate you for the wonderful person that you are. If your answer is not very happy and satisfied, then I can assure you that you can improve your happiness and your health to your satisfaction. If your answer is not happy and satisfied at all, then it will be very difficult for you to achieve your aims. But I can assure you that it's not entirely your fault and that you also can turn your life around and improve your health and your happiness. This can be achieved by using the magical power of your conscious brain to change your speech, your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions. Let me tell you how I achieved this um, in my amazing story. I was born 1937 to a poor, dysfunctional family that um, was prejudiced and um, thought themselves better than others and, and um, mistreating my mother because she was a little darker than her grandmother and my father. My father was so fair and had handsome European features that he could pass for white anywhere. My grandmother told him not to marry the black girl. And he defied her and took my mother into my grandmother's home where she was mistreated and um, abused by my grandmother and to, 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 to a lesser extent, my, my father also. Our home was situated on top of my grandmother's premises. Um, it consisted of a small veranda, a living room, and a bedroom. The living room was partitioned for a small bedroom that my father occupied. And um, the rest of us were living in the bedroom. Um, and this was very, very cramped because there were eight children and my mother, and we couldn't all hold on the one bed. All the facilities were um, very, very uncomfortable. The bed had problems with um, fleas. The, um, there was not enough space on it for everyone to sleep. And um, I slept many times on the dining table 
we are just the fleas would not be able to bite me. I um, was constantly falling ill with flu. Um, I had allergy problems. I was short sighted. And unfortunately, a bat was thrown accidentally into my face at school and killed five of my front teeth. So I was really um, not very happy with my life. In addition, there was not enough food and we were often hungry. Um, I attended elementary school barefoot when there was no money to buy shoes after the water canvas shoes um, fell off my feet. So there was no possibility that I could go to high school because my family could just not afford it. But my mother was so dedicated to her children's education that she would do all she can, um, even spend money to send you to school, um, even if she didn't have enough to, to feed and clothe you. So I was sent to infant school at age three, and the school consisted of a zinc shed with a few benches. I was so dedicated my, to my education that I paid keen attention to the classes that were taught to the younger students on my bench. And then I also tried to follow the classes that were taught to the older students on the other benches. I was sent to elementary school at age seven and came first in A, B, and C classes. The following year, I was kept down in C class by my other classmates went on to um, first and second class. My sister took me to the headmistress to object to my being held down in C class. But, the, but Sister Philomena explained that she could not move me up because elementary school was divided into junior and senior divisions and I had not yet reached the age to move up into the senior division. The following year, my sister took me back to Sister Philomena to request that I be moved into third class to rejoin my former classmates. Sister stated that I could not manage third class without second class um, preparation. However, my sister was able to explain to her that she had been teaching me. Well, I came first in third, in third form and every year after that. When I was 11, the age to start high school, I returned to elementary school because my family had no money to send me to high school. Sister Philomena asked why I was not in high school school. I explained to her I could not go to high school because there were no funds to do so. And there were no government schools built up to that time. A few days later, the teacher in my class told me to report to the headmistress. And I was a bit fearful that I was to be punished for some misdemeanor. But when I entered Sister Philomena's office, she smiled welcomingly at me and asked me to sit down. Then she told me to listen carefully to what she was about to say. She would organize classes for the lower forms to be taught arithmetic by me. And the parents of the children would pay me for the classes. She would collect all the money, however, and keep it to save it for my high school education. 
I agreed to do so, although I was wondering if I could manage a class of young children, um, especially since they were not um, from the better class of people as such, but you know, were from the poor areas. Anyway, I taught the classes quite successfully and after three years um, there was enough money for me to go to high school. So Sister Philomena took me to the Catholic headmaster of St. George's High School and asked Father Bokmanan if he would do her the favor of admitting me to high school even though I had long past the age for entry. Father Bokmanan said that would be third form but he cannot manage because he hasn't done mathematics and Latin and other subjects um, that the other students have accomplished and he would have to place me in the first form. Sister Philomena insisted that she was confident that I could manage third form and eventually Father McMullen said that he would try me in second form but expected that I would have to be um, returned to first form. Sister Philomena still insisted that why not try me in third form and then move me to second form and then down to first form if that was necessary. He said, okay, but you know, that will never work. I not only managed um, well in third form, but I came third for the first term and first at the end of the year. In 1955, I took the Senior Cambridge examinations of Cambridge University in England and came first in the island for Jamaica. Left school and got a job with Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation, a government agency. I was happy to be working and earning money so that I could help my mother and my family. When the following year school commenced, Sister Father McMullen sent to my home to ask why I had not returned to high school. He was told that I had left school and would not be returning as I was working and would not continue. Father McMullen sent a message that I should come to see him on Saturday. I went to see him and he told me that I should not waste the talent that God had given me um, and leave high school because I had the ability to go on to university. I assured him that I would not return because I could not afford the school fees. I could not um, afford the books and other material that would be necessary at that higher level. So he offered me a scholarship um, for free tuition, also a job at the priest residence as receptionist and telephone operator after school and free meals um, for lunch and dinner. I accepted his offer and returned to school. In the second year of sixth form, I was told to take the entrance exams for entry to US colleges and to apply to some colleges um, that I would like to attend. So I took the college board exams 
and placed in the top 97th percentile, which is the top 3% of performers in the entire world. I received several scholarships from United States universities and also was invited to an interview for a scholarship at the local college in Kingston, Jamaica. However, the first few colleges only offered me tuition and I could not afford to, to go to school with just a tuition scholarship. Well, then Harvard University offered me a full scholarship with free tuition, free room, free meals, jobs at, at, on the campus, and even a loan if I needed more. I gladly accepted Harvard University's offer because it was the only one I could afford and was happy to learn that Harvard was one of the top universities in the world. After graduating from Harvard, I immediately returned to Jamaica to earn money so that I could help my family and especially to move my mother out of the, the grandmother's home, which I accomplished within a few years. Then I fell in love at first sight with Beverly and married her the following year. I enjoyed a wonderful happy marriage for more than 40 years until death parted us. This is an indication of the amazing story of my life. And I'm inviting you to visit my website, www.petermasterclass.com to get more advice and assistance in how to overcome your obstacles and get on the path to happiness, health, love, and success.